Hey guys, Charlotte here from Damson. This week, I'm gonna be teaching you how to create a shared calendar within Google Calendars for your organization. So if you wanna know more, you know what to do. Stay tuned. Okay, so here we are in my Google Calendar. This is my demo account here, so there aren't a lot of meetings going on within my calendar. So if we wanna create a new calendar for our organization, we've got, we just go over here to the left-hand side um, under other calendars and we click the plus sign. And then we click on the second option, create new calendar. Now this is gonna pull up uh, this screen here within settings. So I'm just gonna call this test calendar. And then you're gonna hit create calendar. Obviously you can add a description here um, and you can set the time zone. So now my calendar has been created. So you can see here on the left-hand side, I've got test calendar. So then when I click on that, it's gonna give me all of the different settings that I have within this calendar, which are quite extensive. Um, I'm not gonna go through them all, but I'm just going to show you how to share this within the organization and make sure that this calendar is shareable within the organization. So just at, at the third option down here, you can see access permissions for events. So you can make it available to the general public um, or you can make it available for the DC demo account. And that would be on this account now, that would be my organization. So you can just make sure that that box is ticked so then when you click all event details, you can decide that you don't want people to see the actual details of your event uh, by clicking the top version here, which is see only free, busy, hide details. Um, or you can click see all events. And for the purpose of this video, we want obviously the whole team to be able to see all the events. So we're gonna click see all events. You can also share the calendar by getting a shareable link here underneath. So scrolling down, there are a lot of different settings you can use here, but I'm not gonna go through them all today. But what I will say is if you want to delete this calendar, down the bottom, the very bottom here, you can click delete. So if I delete that calendar, it'll say permanently delete, and it's going to remove that from the available calendars. So if I am back here now in my main calendar interface, you can see that the test calendar is under my calendars now. And if you want to activate that or deactivate that, you can turn it on and off. So if I make an event here in test calendar, make sure I'm in my test calendar. You can see that now, because I have the calendar switched on, I can see it. And if I have the calendar switched off, I won't be able to see it. Um, and now all of these events that you create in here will be viewable by your entire organization. Okay, that's it from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this really quick Tech Tip Thursday on Google Calendar. Please let us know in the comments if you liked this video, if you have any ideas for videos that you want to see in the future. We always love to hear from you. So as always, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next week.